Mm-hmm. Viva La Vegan! Hello, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer. This is part of our series. You can find us here every Tuesday on this YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already. This week I'm going to answer the question of how can I organize a bake sale? I've mentioned in various um, previous videos and in articles about staging an effective event and putting on vegan events. Um, and this is all about your aims, its target audience and what event you want to do. So vegan bake sale is a really, really great way to get involved in baking and to get the vegan message out in a fun way. I would suggest people get involved with the Worldwide Vegan Bake Sale and you can see their website for more information on that. I've actually been a committee member of the Worldwide Vegan Bake Sale since 2010. It's a really, really fun event to be involved in because it happens all over the world. Work out um, a timeline of what you need, who can help you and where you will host the event. Um, see my handout about this and my other videos for more information. You'll need someone to bake and you'll need to make sure the goods are with you before the event. You need someone to get the goods and the tables. Do you need tables? Do you need chairs? Do you need a marquee or a tent? Um, you need to get all these things to the venue and you need someone to set them up. You need at least two people to be at the store selling the goods and speaking to people. And it's great if you have some handouts and some leaflets as well. Then you need someone to pack up all of these things, bring all the tables, marquees and the chairs back to where you got them from. You need a lot of people to promote your event as well, online and in person. For my not-for-profit I had for five years, Green Earth Group, we had quite a few bake, bake sales at various markets in the Brisbane area and they were run by our volunteers. And um, one of the fun things that I did for this was I made up some little baking zines and I'll include the link here and feel free to um, copy those if you like. And just remember to have some fun sort of things that you can give away to people as well. You can give away some food, you can give away some brochures and think about educating people to the vegan lifestyle while you're there. Keep in mind that some of the butters, margarine alternatives that are vegan may not be 100% um, vegan for some people as some of these contain palm oil. And it's a lot of work to put on any event and you should know this going into it and any other event you decide to organize but they can really be so much fun especially bake sales you'll have great conversations and you meet some really great new people and it's also wonderful to see people who um, want a vegan gluten-free and nut-free dessert and they haven't had something for however many years and they get to try it and they get to try something you've made and they actually really love it too. Make sure you have all the necessary food handling equipment and licenses that you need and have people that you can actually rely on to keep these things happening. And make sure above all that you have fun promoting the vegan lifestyle in a really fun way with your vegan bake sale. Let me know what's worked for you and what events you have coming up with your vegan bake sales. And I'll see you next week here for our next question and answer which is are all vegans health freaks? <laughs> see you then.